So one other thing that I'm seeing is a whole bunch of really good questions about Google Forms. And just keep in mind, for some of us, we've been in Google Classroom, and for others, we're dipping our toes in and we've only been in about a week. We fully anticipate issues to pop up because we're just learning as we go. So one thing that I have found there are questions on is Google Forms. So I'm going to take a look at a Google Form. I'm going to go the long way around just so that you know you can do this. In my Google Drive, I can search for forms or any file type and any owner. I'm going to say owned by me and then pull this up. So I have a bunch of different forms. What I think is really awesome is you folks are collaborating across the district with grade levels and you're creating forms. One thing you need to make sure that you do is if someone creates the form for you, you have to make a copy of it. So for example, um, I have a whole bunch here. Let's just pick one, um, recipe collection. So let's say I'm working with a team and they have created this awesome Google form for me. I don't want to use this form because that means every response that comes in, and this is how you see your responses right here, every response that comes in will fill in here. So I'll get responses from kids that I don't know who they are because we're all using the same form. So if I come over here and make a copy of the form, I can say, um, this is Sheldon's recipe collection and then okay then this is the form I want to use in Google Classroom. So if you're creating forms and sharing them, I think that's amazing. However, if you don't make a copy and put your own copy in Google Classroom, we're going to see some issues. And again, you can see the responses by going back into the form in your drive and clicking on responses. This just happens to be a form that doesn't have any. For more information on Google Forms, check back on the website. I have a more detailed video.